continuing to the original, so it's going to kind of accelerate the storyline for this new season. Um, you know, we we definitely uh, get to have our fun where we get to retell the first episode when we get into October and kind of reset the stage. But then we jump forward and we bring Rebecca into town and we just start unraveling the history of Marcel, New Orleans, and this family and what they all meant to each other and how. And it instantly gives us an extra layer of mystery and, and intrigue and romance and, 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 uh, and it lets us launch right into um, a very rich sort of operatic world that I think people will really respond to. I hope people will really respond to. Well, the mythology of the originals tie directly in with the Vampire Diaries as far as like the witches and the vampires and will they, you know, yeah, it's the, the same world? It's, it's every time we come up with, you know, something that we've already established in Vampire Diaries, we say, do we want to keep this rule exactly the same or do we want to modify it? And if we decide to modify it, we come up with a reason why in this particular community it's modified even if it's subtle, you know. For example, the witches, you know, in Vampire Diaries, it's all about spirit magic. Um, in, 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 in the originals, it's all about ancestral magic, which is a term that we made up, but basically, <laughs> you know, the idea of that they're, what they worship is their own bloodline, and in these cemeteries, it's just generations upon generations of their own dead, which, you know, the spirits, the power of those witches just lingering. So the witches are able to draw power from that, but if they were to walk away from that, they wouldn't have anything to draw power from. So they basically just be tarot card readers and herb growers. Um, they they don't have the same sort of direct access to the spirit magic world like they do a vampire. Are they going to like draw on any kind of like the voodoo history of the and that kind of stuff? Yeah, I mean, we, we obviously started, when we started breaking the story, we, we wanted we looked at a lot of voodoo research and we, we took a lot of our, our iconographic images in our heads, like Marie Laveau and especially the offerings of the cemetery and all that stuff. Um, that The whole sequence was me being so thrilled by those cemeteries in New Orleans. Um, then we were very careful to take, and then the salt spells and everything. We were very careful to like take the spirit of voodoo, um, and and yet not not call it voodoo and not bastardize it, and not wanting to be disrespectful to that religion, which is so powerful and so important to so many people, and to the idea that we don't know enough about it. To, to it would be very very foolish and irresponsible for us to try to emulate that too much. But it is by all it is absolutely uh, the the um, inspiration, thank you. Plus you don't want to make that up. Plus you don't want to make that up. Oh, yes. You mentioned um, Rebecca. Is there any chance we'll see Matt Donovan coming to see her? Yeah, I, would, I would love to see Matt Donovan on the originals, or I would love to see Rebecca back in Mr. Falls with Matt Donovan. I mean, for sure. You know, he's charming the pants off everybody. Um, you know, I, I think that ultimately, and I say this, and it's, it's cut half a joke, but when I, it all comes down, that if an actor doesn't show up for a good story, it's their fault, not ours. Because I think we actually have really good ideas for how to occasionally pepper in great, you know, great crossover opportunities, not for sweeps or not for stunts, but truly because there's this history of these characters that we really want to get to play with. So um, we shall see.